You know, sometimes one player has to be the one to show up in Leafland. Sometimes that player is always going to be that one player who's going to be the goal scoring machine for the team. And look here. Who else? Austin Matthews has just carried the team. Matthews Magic, the title of this video, for a reason. He has just carried this team. This guy, I'm just using Matthews right now, the free skate. It's literally his show, though. Austin Matthews has been on fire recently. So let's just, right, we'll talk about Austin Matthews right after uh, we review the game here. Right? So the game starts off here. Calgary gets all the momentum in the world. Alright. And then, unfortunately, for Leafland, uh, your Sharon Govich gets his 19th of the year against us. A tip in front. And, yeah, not the greatest start. But, um, yeah, it just happened. We go down 1 0 here around the 9 minute mark of the game. Nazem Kadri for the second goal. Alright. It was a beautiful tic-tac-toe passing play. Huberto starts it. And then gets it down to Lindholm. And then, bam, Nazem Kadri gets it straight in here. But the thing is, that one did go off of Giordano's stick. Yeah, so. Or it just went off of Giordano and then slid through five. Well, not really Jones's fault here. I mean... You know, played quite a good game. He made some quite good saves at quite, like, at the time that we needed them. So that's nice to know. And then I'm gonna, just going to try to score Austin Matthews' goal here. He, go, he goes to one side here. He gets the goalie over. And then he'll try to go to that side. He'll go to that side. And he'll just rifle it home. Yeah, like that. It didn't go a bar down in, but still, it was just an incredible goal off incredible skill from Austin Matthews. Alright, now for the second one here. Alright, for the second one, it is going to be a one-timer. I'm quickly going to switch it up and get Martin and Matthews in here. So be right back in one second. So we got Matthews, William, Nylander, and Mitch Marner. Alright, let's see what happens. So basically, they take a shot. Nylander gets one. Super close from going in. And Matthews is one timer. will be the ones here to go in. It was a beautiful one. It's a beautiful one team from Matthews. And now the Leafs are tied it. Which was a nice goal here. And now we go to this part of the game. So on a four on three, you got Miner here with Nylander and Matthews and Tavares on the ice. I'm just gonna keep it with these three. So Nylander Nylander dishes it to Marner. A beautiful a beautiful shot there. Martin does take his time. Marner takes his time and boom, it's a crazy good goal from Mitch Marner. And the Leafs are ahead. But now it's time for the guy whose show it was this time. 
So let's have some more in there. Shoot it. All right. And now Matthews gets it to his backhander. He goes in, and then he'll backhand it short side. I'm just going to backhand it short side. Okay, I can't do that. Yeah, so basically he grabs Matthew Nice's rebound and bangs it home like that. And there's a hat trick goal for Austin Matthews. That is going to be all the scoring for the second period for the Leafs and basically the entire game. And then we have one more goal here. All right, and it goes to Andrew Majapani. It goes off of a Timothy Lilligren stick. People thought it would be a kick motion in there, but uh, no, Andrew Majapani, it was a clean goal. And I, I honestly have to agree with the rest on that one. Yeah, it did hit Lilligren's stick. If Lilligren just didn't have that hit a stick, yeah. I believe Lilligren also got benched for a little in the uh, next period. Because of that goal. Yeah. So Lilligren got benched a little. And then, it honestly just was not Timothy Lilligren's in Ico. I gotta just say that. Lilligren did not have a good game at all means. Well, we're getting to the third here. Uh, ten, about 10 minutes in, Connor Zary collects his own rebound. Jones thinks he has it. But no, he does not actually. Zary scores. And then I, I was just like, oh yeah, the Leafs are just going to blow another lead here. But then the video review coach is like, no, no, no. And the video review coach comes out. Comes out here. Gets the review done. And realizes that there was a hand pass. So they get Keith to call a timeout. And then they challenge it. And it's correct. There was a hand pass on the play. Which means, and that goal, man, that the Leafs actually won. That goal being called back means that Austin Matthews has a game winner here. It was honestly Austin Matthews' night here. We'll get into that in a few moments. Yeah, but it seriously was just Austin Matthews' night in this one. Just, wow. Speechless. How good he was playing. 37 on the season for Austin Matthews. He is on a 72 goal pace, I believe. Which is also insane considering that he also missed a game this year. Matthews has barely played like a 30. I don't even know if Matthews has played a full 82 game season. That's proper. Look, I think he's only done one. Is crazy to think. I can't believe last year people were calling it a down year for Matthews, even though he had he had a wrist injury. He had a, he was playing with a wrist injury until like m the end of February of last year. So considering the fact that he got 40 goals last year is honestly just proving to you how good of a player he is. Matthews is looking incredible this year. After that, Derek Oldo was called back. I believe Steven was winning the game here. Uh, Calgary uh, took a bad penalty. Elias Lindholm, I believe it was, uh, took a slashing 
penalty, and that's the game for you. And then Delucia was just able to hang on. Austin Matthews will get into him now. Yeah, so Austin Matthews just played incredible that game. Three goals, insane qualities. Those three goals were just like, how you know, he's just too good. Scoring. He's 100% the best goal scorer in the NHL. He is proving it this year. Nothing anyone could really do to question it right now. Matthews 4.9. Matthews was Matthews did something on all four goals. You cannot score on the ice if Matthews wasn't out there. Kind of reminded me of his first ever NHL game, where he scored four and nothing else happened. He was the only player on the ice here that scored for the Leafs that game, and this time Matthews was just his only point scorer. This time he's been on a tear. 72 goals pace. Wow! Wow! Just wow! It's Speechless. I thought this game was probably the best for the core four. 100% the best for the core four since I can get San Jose at home. Everyone looks phenomenal on the core four there. Even Tavares, even though he didn't pick up a goal or assist, he looked quite good. He was taking some shot blocks. He was making some good plays here. Making some good passes. I think he looked better there. Even though he didn't register a point again in this game, he he looked he looked fantastic. Like in all terms, like besides registering a point, he just looks great in all aspects of the game, except for maybe some defense, like mediocre defensive plays. Like maybe that maybe he should have like tied up a stick of Sharon Govich, but still. He looks quite good though. Taking some nice blocks. Marner with just magic Mitch there. Nylander, finally, he took off the frozen boots and got back to the scoring. So it all accounts, great game for the Leafs. Hopefully we can get back to the uh, playoff count. Austin Matthews being the absolute carrier he is. I gotta give credit to Matthew Nye, so smart play on that assist to Matthews and Patrick Cole. Yeah, great game from the least overall. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's game. And peace out. Bye.